Y'all, this is the update I've been so excited to share with you guys. This is the new Lego Studio. What's up guys, Nick the Brick Lord here. I have been so excited to finally do this video. I've been hiding it for a few weeks, but the reality is I just purchased a new home and that means the Lego Studio is now going to be in this room. It's moving from the tiny closet that we were in before to this room. I'm excited for several reasons. One, I finally have enough space to build actual mocks without having to just utilize studio and build it somewhere else. And two, I'm gonna have a lot more room to set up a display and to actually build and set up everything out here. I'm gonna have a place to edit videos. I'm gonna have a place to display sets. The lighting is a lot better in here than it is in the closet or even the Brickling store. A quick update on that Brickling store is it's gonna stay there. Um, at the other house for now, that's my parents' house, while as all of the building and other side of what I do on YouTube is going to take place here in this room. So I'm officially moving tomorrow and the first thing I need to figure out is what sets I'm taking with me to sell at Brickworld because um, I won't be back here. Well, I will be back, but I need to get other stuff next time I come back. So I went ahead and did this, some of this last night because I just couldn't wait. Um, and I was trying to pick sets that uh, I think will be at least somewhat interesting um, to sell at Brickworld or sets that I just really want to get rid of and will sell for a stupidly cheap price like this thing right here. I've had this for forever and I don't want to look at it anymore. So I will sell it for probably under its value just to get rid of it because city sets like this just don't sell super well on um on Bricklink. Um the added benefit of selling it at Brickworld Chicago is I don't have to pay fees besides the five dollar um to get into the garage sale. I'm also gonna have some figures I'm probably gonna take with me and some used stuff downstairs so we'll figure that out. But this is most of the sets I think I want to take. So I got the razor crest here, this Harley that I've had for a while I just want to get rid of. I have a couple of Darth Vader's castles here. One of these Dagobahs I'm going to take. Um, I might take some of these like GWP or Disney sets with them. Probably not the Disney sets, but maybe, maybe Galileo. Maybe one of these um, magical workshops. But I need to figure out... Um, the minifigures that I want to take and any minifigure I take from here because these are all ones that are currently in my Bricklink store so I need to make sure I mark them as being put in the stock room so I don't accidentally sell them twice because I have done that before and it's not fun. So I intended to film a lot more of the move. Unfortunately I just ran out of time. I was trying to get here last night and it took forever to pack because there's so much Lego this isn't even all of it. I couldn't get all of the Lego, especially the built sets without completely destroying them. And the van that came in was completely full. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures, but it was packed. Anyways, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of Lego here. Um, this is all, all the sealed sets are all stuff I'm going to be building in the future. Um, I have a lot of work ahead of myself. While I was packing, I ran out of time to show you guys this, so I thought I might as well go ahead and do it. Um, but these are the figures I ended up picking out to take and try to sell at Brick World Chicago. Probably the coolest thing here, in my opinion, is this dragon, this oriental dragon from the old adventurers line. I love the gold print and the mask. I, I It's just a crazy looking, looking dragon. Um, so that guy's pretty cool. I have a lot of Star Wars figures in here that are pretty rare if I can find him. I've got um, Jedi Bob right there. I've got a Phase 2 Wolfpack Trooper. I've got some Lord of the Rings figures here. I don't know their names because I don't know enough about Lord of the Rings. Hondo Anaka, another Star Wars fig. Uh, some Oryx. Uh, Padme. Um, an older style Boba Fett. A lot of very rare or um, inexpensive figures here, along with some not as rare figures like this gal from um, Boba Fett's Palace, that set. I still think it's a pretty cool fig, but 
obviously it's not very rare that set has been discounted at like 50% at a lot of places. So, yep, that's what I'm taking. So it's a bit of a mess in here now, but I have made a lot of progress. Um, I picked up these two desks from Facebook Marketplace. This one turned out to be a great desk for, um, for the computer because it has this little cable management system underneath here, which I really need to do because there's a mess of cables here for the new monitors. Looks terrible, but I'm gonna fix that later. I also got this standing desk here, um, which partly I needed to do because of the table height of this table right here. It didn't match a lot of the other tables out there for some weird reason. So at least with an adjustable table, I can um, get it the exact same height as the other table, but then I can also change it if I wanna do reviews and have uh, the background there if I wanna change it to standing desk. I'm also going to use this desk as kind of like my building table once all this junk is cleared off of it. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff just sitting around here that I need to manage. I took the doors off of the closet here so um, it's easier to enter. I'm going to have all the parts in here um, that I can come in and grab. I have to figure out exactly how I want to store those. I don't know if I want to m use more of uh, the clear bins like that or do something different because if I wanted to do something different, now would be the time to do that. Um, I also have built these calyx shelves to put sets on over here. I'm also going to be putting some floating shelves up on the wall to put more sets. I did have this up against the wall earlier and with sets on it, but uh, unfortunately the outlets here and there's one somewhere over there are not working. So I moved to the shelves because I'm gonna have to deal with that in a minute. I also put some curtains up. So I think it's looking a lot nicer in here. Um, well, not nicer, but now I can block out the light and uh, do some videos later without uh, the sun messing up with the lighting. Of course, I'll have those open most of the time, um, except for when I'm filming. And as I was unpacking, I found these things, which are pretty cool relics. When I have the Lego brand retail brick specialist training passport. And so when I started working for Lego back in 2018, and I don't work with them anymore, but they gave this out to all the employees and it, it kind of is like a handbook of what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do uh, when working at the Lego store. I have a VIP card that is from like 2007 that's falling apart. Um, and then this is obviously my Lego apron with uh, Captain Crunch or Captain Crunch. There's a story behind that. Uh, last few days of work, uh, me and another guy both had the same name, Nick. Um, and he convinced me that I should go by a different name, this name. But I couldn't convince my boss to print me a new name tag. So I went and on our label printer, I made a new name tag for myself. And my boss was cool with it. At least he didn't get really mad, which, you know, I don't think I was technically supposed to do that. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a cool store, cool boss, great manager. Um, I really like that store in particular. Some Lego stores, I'll go on a little bit of a rant here. Some Lego stores are a little bit uptight in my opinion when it comes to rules and how they treat customers and all of that. But the Lego store I worked at was just phenomenal. Absolutely loved it. Great place to work. Customers had great experiences there. It was, it was pretty great. So even though I've just started making progress on this room, I'm actually gonna have to head out and go back to my parents' house two hours away. Um, I need to get some more stuff from down there. I need to pack up the castle that is currently at Madhouse of Bricks because I just sold it to someone else. So I'm gonna have to deliver that in a couple of weeks. And Brick World Chicago is in a week and I need to go get some sets from Joe at Madhouse Bricks or Madhouse of Bricks. Um, because I'm going to be selling some of those sets um, at Brickworld for him. Mm -hmm.